Ask Lou is brought to you by Ace Hardware, delivering helpful hardware service since 1924. Ace, the helpful place. Hi, Lou. My name is I. I've been living in my apartment for five years. I have carpet on my floor that has absorbed some dirt. And I would like to know how can I go about getting hardwood floors instead of the carpet so my apartment can be looking nice and brand new. Could you answer that question for me, please, Lou? Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, I like your name. That's interesting. All right. I love hardwood floors. It is really the only renewable surface that you can put down on your floor with consistency that adds value and looks beautiful. You need to start by hiring a wood flooring contractor to come out and make sure that your subfloor is sufficient to support hardwood. Now basically, you're gonna rip out all that carpeting. I'm assuming you have a plywood subfloor, even if you have a concrete subfloor, either one can be used to accept wood floors, whether it's a traditionally nailed down three quarter inch wood floor, which is my favorite, or Depending on what the subfloor is, it could be a floating wood floor. But remember this, with those floating floors, they're not all created equal. You get what you pay for. If you go out looking for a $1.99 a square foot laminate wood floor, that's what you're going to get. You should be spending somewhere in the neighborhood of $4 or $5 a square foot to get some really high quality flooring to go into your home. Here's an email from Matt. Lou, what's the easiest and quickest way to remove a wallpaper border around a ceiling? So the absolute easiest way is to actually hire somebody to do it. But if you wanna do it yourself and save a little money, you wanna get a wallpaper perforating tool like this and you gently go and poke little holes in that border. Then use a wallpaper stripper and apply it in there so it goes into those holes to loosen up the glue. And you take a scraper and you slowly and gently scrape it away, trying not to damage the wall. Then you'll wash that wall. Then you'll lightly sand the wall and I guess ultimately repaint it. See what I mean? If you hire somebody, that's a heck of a lot easier. 